Afternoon everybody, it's Sam here at Lean Greens and uh, we're almost at the end of our Upgrade Your Nutrition Challenge so I hope you're going to join these videos. Um, yeah, you might be able to hear the crunching of the carrots because when carrots come out the dogs appear. Um, so today we're going to do a super juice. So when it comes to juicing, there's lots of recipe books out there, but I pretty much juice whatever I find in the fridge. Um, this is my juicer. It's a Philips. Um, it is not, a, so you can get two types of juicers. You can get these ones, which are the centrifuge type, or you can get a masticating juicer. Um, I went to a talk uh, by a lady who did juicing retreats, um, and she recommended this one because she said for most people, these are the easiest to clean, so you're much more likely to use it. They take up less space on your work surface, so again, you can leave it out and actually use it. The masticating juices, why they may be better for you, um, are no good for you if you don't use them. Um, so much the same way with supplements. Uh, they're not much good if they're in your cupboard. So when it comes to juicing, I pretty much use whatever is in the fridge. Um, I try and have more veg than fruit. Um, and the only things that I always try and have are raw beetroot, you don't need to peel it, I just top, chop the um, leaves off and pop it in like that, and ginger, because a very big whopping bit of, I love ginger, and a big whopping piece of ginger like this is going to make anything taste amazing, and the beetroot is going to make anything look amazing, because the problem with a lot of green juices is that they tend to come out a bit of a muddy brown, which isn't very nice. So uh, my key is beetroot. So first of all, I'm going to, um, one of the good things to put in this first is actually the spinach and I'm going to put my blueberries, I have some blueberries in the fridge, so I'm going to shove those in as well. And with this juicer, you can generally, if you put the um, green leafy stuff in first, so it works quite well with kale or I have spinach, so I'm using spinach. So I'm going to pop those in and then I'm going to pop some of the heavier bits in to uh, push it down. And then I'm going to make some noise. Uh, it is rather loud when I turn this on, and I'll come back to you once it's done. There we go, you can see how super quick that is. Um, because this juicer has quite a wide shoot, uh, you can put apples and pears and such in at home, you don't have to chop them up, so it just saves you a bit of time. Um, always remember to put the lid on the jug, otherwise it goes everywhere. So I'm just gonna pour this into a glass so you can see the color. Have you, have you ever done that? Yeah. <laughs> and it does go everywhere. So you've got a lovely pinky red color. Um, which is uh, quite nice. And if we hadn't had the beetroot in that, it would probably be a mucky brown and yellow. Um, you can, of course, uh, upgrade your juice further. You could add a shot of lean greens to it, no reason, why not at all. And you could also, if you wanted to add some turmeric, you could just empty one of the capsules um, from our Amber Boost product into there as well. Um, that, I think, was pretty much all I was gonna say. I'll pop a link below to the, um, this juicer. Um, I like juices, I, I, I'm not convinced personally by the whole juice detox program kind of things. Um, I feel you need actual food, but every now and again when you're feeling a little bit run down, sometimes just having a, you have a glass of this and you just feel better, basically. So let me know what your favourite juice recipes are below. 